when news hits dokkan you guys already know i am on it we have a lot of awakenings including an awakening for the best unit in the game physical chowman right here i cannot wait to see what he does shout out to minato over here uh, for all the translations shout out to him he is a goat for this i'm only going to be covering the eza for physical chowman uh tech janembu physical weirus uh in selza and then str coolisa here all these other jp exclusives and stuff again like it doesn't really matter to me as of right now and then i don't really i don't think we have the information for the easy ace for these two units just yet um so yeah let's just hop in cover the dragon ball fusions unit starting off with chow Tzu. so right now his leader skill sucks he sacrifices 20 percent hp which sucks and then has keep play it just he just sucks okay let's see what he does now so physical chowman awakening leader skill physical types three key and 80 percent to all stats definitely not that bad Super attack causes supreme damage to all enemies while sacrificing 10% HP. Was the same thing here? Oh, yeah. So, he was an AoE. Okay. I didn't even know that, to be honest. Um, and then they cut the 20% to 10%, which I think is definitely fair. 20% is a little bit too much, in my opinion. But 10%, I do think um, he's just, he becomes more runnable now, right? Um, and then he gets attack plus 80% and 160% defense. Um actually yeah his, his defense is not going to be that low okay i'm actually excited to see how good he's going to be defensively here okay uh yeah 160 percent defense is actually pretty high plus an additional attack plus 60 percent when performing a super attack when hp is 50 percent uh or below eight key and 200 percent attack once only so he becomes like a nuke <laughs> the moment you fall below but this guy's actually pretty interesting uh he's not like the craziest unit of all time i think but he's at, he's not bad right like he's if if he's getting 80% attack, then 60% on super attack. Dude, the, the turn when you fall below 50% HP, he's going to be monstrous. I wish he got key, um, you know, uh, at the start of turn. Like, maybe, what if he just got four key start of turn and then, the and, like, an extra four key once you fall below 50% HP? I think that, I think that would have been a lot better. Um, I don't think restricting the key to 50% HP, especially on a unit like this, is, necessary, is, like, is like, necessary. But, I mean, I don't know. I, he's good. He's definitely good. Let's move on to uh, Tech Janembu here. Now, this guy's going to be pretty interesting because he is on Majin Power. Majin Power definitely needs some buffs. And I'm interested to see if he's going to work well with the new STR Boo coming out, right? So, this guy uh, causes cause supreme damage, lowers defense, cool. And then nothing really crazy here. Let's see what he does now. Uh, leader skill is the same, just for Tech. He stacks defense. Okay, I like that. He gets 100% to attack and defense. I like that. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% for each extreme class ally attacking in the same turn, excluding himself. So a total of 60% to attack and defense there. So he can get up to 160% attack and defense as long as you have extreme class units on the team, which why would you run him with super class units anyways? So basically free damage and defense there. Medium chance to evade enemies' attacks. I mean, that's not bad. Um, I mean, it could be worse. He could not have it, but him having that could actually save you in certain situations. I guess that's pretty cool. And then attack enemies attack minus 30%. Okay. Yeah, this guy's not bad. I would have loved for him to, you know, maybe have a little support for this STR boo. Uh, that would have been pretty cool. Like maybe give him like two key 20%, 30% attacking defense. Um, but he's definitely not bad. He's definitely a lot better. And I do like the um the 20 the, the sorry, the 30% defensive stack here is going to be interesting for long content. You really want to give this guy additionals. Let's move on now to uh, physical weirs. Now, this guy, when he first came out, was like a game changer for, for like physical because he changed two types of orbs into physical. So I'm actually very curious to see what they're going to do for him. Let's hop into it right now. Physical weirs, uh, supreme damage, great lowers defense. Um, so basically, same thing. Yeah, they didn't touch this. Why didn't why didn't they do something here? Okay, um, leader skills the same, just for physical. Changes tech and int key spheres to physical key spheres. Yep. Um, he gets 120% to attack and defense. So they just added 70% uh, attack and defense there. Medium chance to evade attacks, including super attacks, when collecting five or more key spheres. Okay. Attack and defense plus 50% when, when attacking, when collecting seven or more key spheres. Okay. So yeah, they hit a lot harder. Um, I would have honestly liked, like, I know I said it for this guy too. But it's like, this guy doesn't really have, like, a defined purpose. I feel like this guy doesn't either. Like, he's going to be hitting... Like, are you really going to be running physical weirdest as, like, 
like you know a main attacking unit maybe if like you're new to the game but i feel like this guy could have just worked as a really good physical support unit like you run him with a bunch of other physical units like maybe you know he changed the physical orbs um i think if he gave allies attack and defense per orb that they imagine he gave allies attack and defense per orb they obtained from the guy from the orbs that this guy changed that would have been pretty freaking cool but like him getting some stuff um you know i mean again like he's He's nothing crazy, but again, he's a lot better than what he was before. And the medium chance to dodge um, is going to be easy because changing two types of orbs into physical is like you're not going to be struggling. And then this is not, again, this is not physical key sphere. This is just regular any key sphere. So this includes rainbow, tech, whatever the case may be. Um, and then we have uh, Int Celza here. So Int Celza, I mean, he gets attack and demons plus 70% with a high chance of 30% attack in addition. High chance of recovering 10% HP at the start of turn. So this guy, yeah, he's actually not that bad. Big my bosses too, okay. So let's see what he uh, he turns into now. Great lowers defense. A, a leader skill is the same. Again, all these leader skills are three key and 80%. This guy now has 100% attack and defense. So it's guaranteed. Oh yeah, it was guaranteed before, okay. Um, recovers 10% HP at the start of turn. Yeah, so that's just guaranteed. It's, instead of it being a high chance, it's just guaranteed now. Um, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50%. When performing a super attack, when HP is 50% or above. Um, okay, yeah. So, again, all these units, they, just, they seem a lot better, but they're not, like, meta-defining. I wish Chowman was just the best unit in the game, though. He's Okay, he's actually, like, looking at all these other units, he's definitely, like, the best one, in my opinion. And then we have uh, STR Kulizi here. Let me see if um, Minato finished the translation for the last one here. I think he might have. Yes, he did. So, okay, so let's just go ahead and pop this up in a new tab drag it over here let's pull this up so um str kuliza only had 70 percent attack on super nothing on like he's just a very mid unit let's see what he turns into now oh he stacks attack and defense okay i like it i like it i like it a lot better so far he gets um ooh, attack and defense was 100 percent when performing a super attack um i don't like that medium chance to perform additional super attack Chance to perform a critical hit plus ten percent, up to thirty percent for each super attack performed. Uh, so my only issue with this guy um, is like, okay, stacking defense, attacking defense is cool, but if you don't have any start of turn attacking defense, the stacking is going to be pretty slow for this unit. Um, the chance to, like, the chance to you know dodge or sorry, what the chance to perform additional super attack is cool, um, but it's only a medium chance. Like you can't like like you can't really count on that too much if you give this guy full additionals he could put out three supers per turn um so stacking could like you could see some change in stats um if he's super attacking three times per turn while stacking but like stacking without like any start of turn attack and defense is not really that great anyway um but he's definitely still like a lot better right uh, i think all these units are definitely a lot better um could we could they have been better like like okay they are definitely a lot better now but could they have been better than what they are right now yes uh i think like honestly um chow man could have had like uh maybe this could have been like eight percent hp um i think he's actually fine honestly um this guy could have greatly stacked defense um this dude again should have been like a like a really good support like, he could have gave up i don't know what he could have done dude but I don't know if I really like the design for this guy because it's like he's trying to be like an attack, like a really solid offensive and defensive option when he could just like, like I like him being good defensively, but I just don't know what purpose he fills because you're not running this guy in like a really good physical team, right? Like this guy's not, this guy doesn't even compete with like the top 30 physical units in the game, I think. So I don't, I don't really know. Um, and then in Salza, again, he's cool, but like he could have done something on super tech besides just like, I don't know, man. I don't know. This guy, maybe a little extra attack and defense. Like, why not 150? Is 150 too much to add for this guy? Like, are, like, are you really going to run him now that he has 100% attack and defense? Like, I don't know. I, I feel like these units aren't too runnable, except for Chow Man. Chow Man, dude, listen, he's the best unit in the game all the time. So, can't really say much about him. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, They're definitely not bad. It's just, I wish they would have been just a little bit better. Um, but I really want to know what you guys think. Let me know, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, and peace.